welcome to positive atheism english channel today i am going to read out you the article on atheism means moral freedom written by sigora the atheist leader atheism asserts the independence of the individual it denies the existence of a power natural or supernatural which determines human life for a long time people have been supposing that their lives are determined by god fate or natural law but the daily experience of free will disproves the existence of any determining factor yet people have believed in the existence of a god etc on account of their slave mindedness slave mind seeks a prop and an early prop it took to was a notion of god slave mindedness came to be known as theism and its opposite as atheism positively atheism means the experience of free will which is the opposite of slave mind the belief in the existence of god is followed by the associated beliefs in the existence of soul of other worlds and of rebirth atheism exposes all these beliefs as false the world philosophies politics economics ethics and aesthetics were influenced by the slave mindedness of theism now atheism reinterpret them in the light of free will theism postulated a creator or a metaphysical reality and subordinated human life to it but atheism reveals the fact that concept of a creator or of an ultimate reality is just man's understanding of the phenomena around him man is the creator of the notion of creation and he is the author of the proposition of ultimate reality there is no universe as entity universe is a product of man's understanding it is what man thinks it is the difference between theistic and atheistic understanding is the difference between going from universe to man and going from man to universe if we go from universe to man the man's life becomes part of the universe and as such it is subordinated to it on the other hand if we proceed from man to universe then man becomes supreme and the concept of universe is but an understanding of man the former is an expression of slavish subordination and the latter expresses man's freedom of understanding the interferences of creation and the metaphysical methods of ontology and theology are process of human understanding the metaphysical understanding postulated a reality which is superior to the human being and thereby subordinated human life to an ultimate reality this satisfied the slave mind but atheistic metaphysics uses the same methods as tools of understanding to the atheist causation is not a compelling process but a degree of probability whose validity increases with the proximity to the event and with the insight of the seeker an anticipation of tomorrow is more probable than one of 10 days hence or of an anticipation of a more distant future likewise atheism knows that society is the common understanding between the different members the common understanding may be increased or decreased at the will of each person further there is individuality of each member beyond the common understanding so the society is a part of man's whole understanding the society is subordinate to man but man is not subordinate to society society is that part of the individual which he contributes to common understanding with fellow men a citizen's relation to his government is similar to a member's relation to his society a government derives authority from the aspect which citizens give to the law of the state and a government collects revenues from the taxes which citizens pay if a considerable section of the people lost respect for law or pay no taxes any government is bound to collapse so the people are the masters and government is only their creation the superiority of a citizen over the government is more patent in democracy where a government is found by the votes which citizens cast so atheistic politics treats people as masters and the heads of states kings presidents or ministers as servants of people atheistic politics maintains the freedom of the citizen this is the opposite of the theistic politics which claims sovereignty for the state and calls for the obedience of the people marxist doctrine was theistic in a sense when it subordinated the individual consciousness to the social consciousness and to property relations 
Atheism, on the other hand, considers civilization to be the progressive control of material forces by human skill, which is supreme in every situation. And from here, I shall continue it in the next episode. Thank you. For more videos, please subscribe to our Positive Atheism English channel presented by Dr. Samaram Multi-Channel Network which crossed 20 crore views. Please like, subscribe and share our videos and for notification of our new videos, please click the bell icon. Please download Samaram Multi-Channel app and watch your favorite channels from your mobile. App available on Google Play Store and subscribe to the channels.